see we're going live again because nap time. So that means I get a few seconds. I can actually talk, have a coherent thought before the kids are up running around, run, run amok, whatever. The other two are doing their homework. One's practicing a little bit of keyboard action. The other one's hopefully doing some math homework. Get that done out of the way. So I wanted to talk about seeing a lot of this on dealing with me personally and my athletes. Um, if nothing's been said about your race, uh, I know next up for me is going some point three, continuing point first. Uh, that's the next event that I would be doing. Um, right now, I ran and said nothing about it. <clears throat> you can go on the internet, Facebook, wherever, and you can find all kinds of differing opinions. You can find articles written where Des Moines is saying, yeah, we're going to do it. Um, but then they postpone Ragbri. That's supposed to be, I think, in June and now it's in July. Um, you know, states open up, states don't open up, states extending stay-at-home orders, not extending. But whatever, whatever your belief is, you know, everybody's kind of doing a different thing. So who knows what's really going to happen come June 21st. I mean, right now it's April 27th. So what I've been doing personally and telling my athletes, I've posted before about it, don't just fall off the map with training. So if you do find it is difficult to kind of get in the mood, find that motivation, do something. Uh, I don't care if you just, you know, sit and spin on your bike for an hour, no real effort or anything. Just do that. Do something. Uh, for me personally, I'm staying on a plan. I mean, I'm not really on my plan because Ironman Tulsa is supposed to be May 31st, so I'm not doing that kind of volume, but I'm already up to a 7.3 level volume, so I've been working more on P2 max on the runs when I can. Um, just things I could do, uh, mostly indoors. Um, as the weather gets nicer, uh, we should be able to go out and run with the kids. You know, put in a stroller. It's good. Uh, it's good uh, strength training program. But I'm telling people, telling my athletes. You know, people are, are wondering about you know 70.3 Des Moines. They're wondering about 70.3 Coeur d'Alene. Um, 70.3 Wisconsin. Ironman had said nothing about it in June, uh, where local events are getting pushed out. So people or making assumptions, posting about it, whatever. So people are, you know, are is this event going to happen? You know, so I've got some recommendations. One, keep training like they're going to happen. Just plan on it. Um, that's it's fitness and doing some keep moving um, is a good way to stave off. You know, and I'm struggling with myself. I mean, every day kind of bleeds into the other. Home with the kids, working from home, um, stay at home order until May third. But then it's like once they're lifted. We're not really in a situation. Kids aren't going back to school with cancer for the rest of the year. I'm not going to take our, our four-year-old back to daycare because I'm at home with big kids. So that just doesn't make sense. Um, and not necessarily that we want to spend that money too because I have lost income as far as coaching goes. So really, if stay at home lift orders are lifted, nothing changes for me. So I'm going to keep training. Uh, the only difference is most of it's done indoors, starting you know, with four weeks outside. So. I'm going to continue to train, but like I said, the big difference is I'm training indoors. Um, on the other side of that is I've looked at my reservations for where I'm staying. I have 100% cancellation return on VRBO until like June 1st. So I've got time to get my money back. I was going to drive. So I don't need airline reservations. I don't need bike reservations to get my bike there. So I don't have to worry about that. So I'm kind of lucky in that regard. You know, it's a North American 70.3 championship, so there are people who are going to be flying in, you know, tri bike transport, all that kind of stuff. I think tri bike transport is going to be pretty good. Uh, if something happens to the event, they'll either offer to go to a new event or probably give you a credit uh, to use for a future event or something. Uh, Iron Man, if, you know, depending on what local people do, um, Iron Man will or will have the race. Uh, they may postpone it, they may try to do it later in the year, they may just push it to 2021 and not mess with it. Who knows what they're going to do, so your entry fee, you know, Ironman will do something with that. Uh, airline reservations, I would definitely check if you've made them already. Check to see what the, the cancellation and change fee is, all that good stuff. Because if people lift stay-at-home orders, it's going to be harder to get airlines to go along with moving stuff and not charging fees. I know Southwest is great, you can change your reservations anyway right fair so if you have to if you feel like you have to make a reservation now make it on you know a refundable airfare you might have to pay 50 bucks extra for it but if you get an act something happens hey you get it back um if you have to 
to make a hotel reservation, you try to get ones that are refundable you know, up until the day before you check in. Do what you can to be ready if the event is moved, postponed, canceled, whatever, you can get all your money back. I would not make a reservation. You have no way of assuring yourself you're going to get that money back because you're going to be on your own. It's going to be the wild, wild west out there when people, some states open up, some cities open up, some don't, some stay at home orders last longer than others. You know, cases are going up. People are dying, hospitals are full, who knows what's gonna happen. So regardless of what you believe, just be prepared as much as possible. Like I said, I'm kind of lucky, I'm driving up there, my VRBO, 100% refund up until June 1st, so I'm kind of set up for that. I'm training like it's gonna happen, so I would recommend that people just plan on the races happening until Ironman says something. If you don't have all your lodging and stuff set up, set it up to where you can get as flexible as possible, you know, change the dates or a full refund. Um, you have to pay a little bit extra, it's probably worth it at this point in time because who knows what's gonna people are gonna do with COVID 19 floating around. And like I said, if some states are doing one thing or some of the other, it's 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 gonna be the wild west. So, use what policies that companies have out now Southwest United, Delta, whoever, if you're gonna fly, um, you know, try by transport, whatever. If you're gonna make a new reservation for your bike, make sure you're up to speed on what their current policies are because it could all just go away on May 3rd when you know, stay at home owners start getting lifted. So go to their baseline policy. You have to pay a little bit extra maybe to assure yourself of a refund, something like that. Do that. Um, but I would plan on the events happening. Like I said, you know, I'm doing uh, 7.3 Des Moines in June 1st. And right now Ironman has said nothing about that event. Um, so I'm not, I'm pretty sure they're not doing it intentionally just to leave everybody in the lurch, but they just don't know. I think they're going to see maybe what happens and if Des Moines says go, if Iowa says go, and they have to put some restrictions on or something, they may do it, or they may decide that, hey, it's not worth trying to do with restrictions, so we're going to push it later, we're going to push it 2021, who knows what they're going to do. So be ready with your training, be flexible with your accommodations, be flexible with your transportation, and just be ready for anything, like the Boy Scouts, be ready for anything, and make sure. But the base minimum we can do is stay training, don't just totally throw it off the rails, and then things actually turn up and get positive again and we're all kind of going back to life as normal and you're like crud you know suddenly i'm you know two weeks out and i have not trained for this race whatsoever so now you don't go because you're just not ready to do the race and going so 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 anyway so that's just my thoughts like i said i've been answering a lot of questions but i want to do a facebook live kind of sharing my thoughts on just be prepared for you know hope for the best expect the worst find a good cancellation or good uh you know, postpone of policies for your travel. So whatever you got to do, just make sure that you've got some as much flexibility as you can out there. You have to pay a little bit extra for a flexible arrangement. Then, hey, you know, I think spending an extra 25, 50 bucks uh, and then doing the race, hey, I think you're good with that. And then spending that 25, 50 bucks and getting it back if the worst case scenario happens, something gets canceled. So I think that's, the best you could do at this point in time. So that's what I would recommend for anybody out there that's kind of wondering, hey, my event's in June or my event's in August. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. What should I do? Go ahead and make your reservations. Be as flexible as possible. Keep your training. And just hope for the best. Plan for the worst. And we're all in this together. So we'll talk to you next time.